As we set sail, we ask God's blessing on the most hazardous and dangerous and greatest adventure on which man has ever embarked. So, we're doing the cousin tag. This is my cousin Shalee. I mentioned in the summer vlog about cousins and like family. I'll link the past one below. So I just like googled some random cousin tags and we're just gonna start. <laughs> How did we meet? When she was born. Oh my god. My first memory of you is when I took you over to my grandpa's um, house and I had a wire like shot in her eye. My yeah, but we met when she was born. Yeah, we're cousins. <laughs> <laughs> How are you cousins? Through our my dad and okay. my her mom's, mom's brother. There. What is your age difference? You were born in November. Ten months. Oh yeah. Because mm -hmm. there's like two months where we're the same age. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Each share an inside joke. We have a lot of those. A voodoo boy. <laughs> <laughs> I have a crush on this guy. I guess apparently I had a crush on Minnie. Mm -hmm. Um, in, in uh, high school, and I don't know how this came, but <laughs> my cousin started itching really bad. <laughs> my legs. <laughs> and she started scratching it, and she was all like, it's voodoo boy, which was a nickname for one of the guys that I liked. Yeah, I don't know why we even called him Voodoo Boy, but my legs would get like uncontrollably <laughs> itchy, itchy, and then she would scratch. I was constantly like, scratching. She's like, "It's Voodoo Boy." And I'm like, like, "Mine is how you shit yourself." <laughs> so this oh, yeah, was this like our... a year after my car accident. I legit had PTSD, and I dealt with a lot of anxiety afterwards. So I was driving through the shopping center, and I remember feeling really calm and like. Wow, I'm doing great after my accident. Like, the first time she was driving again. Lo and behold, some psycho person cut through the parking lot and literally tried to cut me off. Like, a slam on my brakes, brakes and my car, like, skidded. Like, <laughs> and I lost she my was so shit. Pissed. I was, like, screaming like a psycho person, but then she screamed back at me like if it was my fault. So then I just blacked out and went. I was completely by myself. I'm like fuming. So I go around the corner to my house and I call her and she doesn't answer, which is like probably a good thing. I call her because I'm like, this bitch is going to big lots. I just her up. I'm not the type of person, okay? But I was like mental. I was so upset my stomach started to hurt. You called me back and I'm like, no, it's good you didn't. Oh, right. It's I good calmed you down. didn't. Cause I've calmed down. <laughs> Essentially, <laughs> my stomach hurt so bad. Went bathroom and I threw up at the same time. <laughs> you always say like, like when we're talking, like I'll be like, oh, I was so mad. And she'll be like, were you shit yourself mad? Now that she would shit and, and throw up <laughs> at the same time. Do we argue? Yeah, we argue when this bitch trying to kick me out of her wedding. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we were legit screaming at each other on the phone. I was. I was crying. You had a really high pitched crying voice. <laughs> he actually gone long periods of time without talking. With, no, it's because the guy I was dating at the time had a lot to do with it. We started talking again after our grandma passed away. For a year, I was just like in a bad place. And they have to credit her for getting me through when grandma passed away. Hmm. Like she really was. <laughs> She really helped me because she like got it. She knew. Like I met Esteban when my grandma was already sick. Mm -hmm. So he didn't know like how we were with each other. She would come over every Monday and we would like go out to eat and we would do crafts. <laughs> I feel like we can go through anything. Have you ever liked the same guy? No, and never. Like we've never had the same taste. Mm -mm. Do we have anything matching? Our hearts. <laughs> when we went to the fair with the Mr. Bubble shirts that we just bought from Mervyn's. <laughs> I don't remember that. What's your fave thing about the other person? I can tell her anything and she totally gets it. I don't even have to explain. She was like, yeah, I know. I don't even have to finish my sentence sometimes. I can literally just give her a look and she'll like, we'll just start laughing because we got it. We and I like that every time we're together, we laugh. That's what I was going to say. So she answered twice. She makes me laugh. Like I laugh a lot anyways. Like so does she. But I feel like I don't laugh as much as I do when I'm with her. Who is the best looking? She is. No, I think you are. She got asked if we're twins a lot of times. Yeah, we have. It's and she has old. daintier features. What's one thing you can do that your cousin can? She's really smart. She can edit a paper and I can't. <laughs> You're just eloquent. I think she's brave. She's like, kind of like a wear your, what did I say? Wear your heart on your sleeve. 
Thank you, man. Very good. Says it's annoying. <laughs> Describe each other's dream job. Being able to travel and have our own video vlog or vlog, like in like a uh, family tutorials or like you know. That's so crazy. I didn't think I don't because I don't even know really what my dream job is. Yeah, I would. What do you call that? What do you call that? Like she has an accent too. <laughs> I'm from She's Boston. Boston. <laughs> I talk with everything with like a question. Yeah. Is that a phone? <laughs> <laughs> no, that actually is a question. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thinking like a freelance artist. Mm. I feel like something where she could do her art freely but not feel pressure to like pump out art on command. Because yes. I feel like you're very like, she has to be inspired to be able to do something. That's true. You can't, right. she needs to like, feel it you know yeah, yeah. weirdest conversation you've ever had it was one time that we actually were like planning how to murder somebody oh that's honestly a conversation we have frequently <laughs> is there one thing the other doesn't know about you okay this is pretty serious back in like 2007 i was like a hardcore hyphy fan <laughs> like i thought i was hyphy no, I thought that, I know that. Did you? Yeah, because you even met the yin yin yang twins. <laughs> no, there's nothing. I, there's nothing worth knowing about me that you don't know. Um, I don't know anything that you don't know about me. You don't. I don't know anything, don't know that, anything that you don't know about me. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah, because I don't know anything. Because you, you know everything know, I know. No, but you know, no, you know it. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> No, you're not saying that right. I don't know anything that you don't know. <laughs> That's like saying you only know what I know. I don't know anything about me that you don't already know. <laughs> you don't know what I don't know about you. Um, but no, I don't know anything else. <laughs> Describe the last night out with your cousin. The last Shit. night. I've been pregnant for like two years, so like I can't. The last time was just her and I, like, and she watched me get hammered on my birthday. Your twerk. It was like when twerking like first blew up. We're at this club. It's like this bar stool, like <laughs> like a tall bar stool. Can we reenact it? And she, yeah, yeah. She was like, she whispered in my ear, and she was like, I think I know how to twerk. And I'm like, let's see. This was her. Bent over a chair in the middle of the dance floor. She I threw know. up a whole olive. She threw up like a perfectly whole sliced olive. Yeah, that, means that was quite impressive. <laughs> Describe each other in three words. Okay, wait. I need to pick two more. <laughs> I want to say basic. I don't want to say. I don't want to say basic words. Oh. I think you are beautiful, smart, and strong. But I think Aww. you're a lot stronger than you gave yourself credit for. You're funny, sensitive, and I don't know how to say in one word, like, I guess dependable or reliable. When you need something, she's gonna be the person that I call. And What's your favorite candle scent? Oh. Man. Oh, no. Mine has to be like a berry. Female celebrity, do you wish, uh, do you wish was your sister? I like Jennifer Lawrence. I was gonna say Mila Kunis. What male celebrity do you wish was your brother? I'm gonna say like on a hill. Oh yeah, I'm gonna say still Michael Pena. Oh, he's just my soulmate, okay? Like, how old do you think you'll be um, when you get married? <laughs> Thirty one. Twenty seven. How do you know a hoarder? Yes. Oh no. yeah, you do. Well, oh yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm not pointing at her because she's a hoarder. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, how old were you when you learned how to ride a bike? Oh, I was really young. Yeah, she was. Yeah, and with no no training Train wheels. wheels. I was super old. Yeah. <laughs> How many countries have you been to? I've been to Canada, Mexico, I've been to Monaco, Italy, Spain, Portugal, France. I've been to a lot. Okay. I've been to one. So far. Uh, what's the worst grade you got on a test? I don't F. know. I'm pretty sure an F. What's your favorite TV show when you were a child? We loved... MTV, the real watch. world, real world. We loved real world. Oh. We were like, when we turn 18, we're gonna do this, and we never did. Who read any of the Harry Potter, Hunger Games, Twilight? I read all of them. All of them. Would you rather have an American accent or British? British. British. Did your mother go to college? 
So. Yes. Are your grandparents still married? Yes. They were when they passed away. Have you ever taken karate lessons? No. No. Amusement park you ever been to? I know. Six Flags. Marine World Africa USA. Yeah, do you remember that shit? Yeah. What language besides your native language would you like to be fluent in? Um, <clears throat> I think Spanish. I think All of them. I know it, but I'm not as fluent as I would like to be. Uh, do you spell the color as gray or gray? Gray oh as in G R E Y or G R A Y. And I've always spelled G R A Y. Me too. I didn't even know you could spell a G R E Y. Is your father bald? Um, my dad passed away. He was not. He had, he had a no nice head of hair. Um, my dad is not bald. Do you prefer Titanic or Notebook? Neither. Notebook. I don't like movies like that. They're too sad. Have you ever had Indian food? Yes. Yeah. Have you ever been to Olive Garden? Yes. Yeah. Do you belong to any warehouse stores? Yes. Costco. Costco. What would your parents have named you if you were the opposite gender? Oh, I don't know if I was the opposite gender, but I know that my mom wanted to name me Chelsea. Ew. I know. Um, I would have been named Louis after my dad. Or Louise. Yeah, my brother's name is Gisto. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a nickname, what is it? Mine was Shorty. Nicolasa. Yeah, Nicolasa was my nickname growing up and I freaking hated it. But now that's my Instagram name, so. Who's your favorite person in the world? Our kids. What are you thinking about it for? Is it saying like person or family? God. Talking about family? Probably Michael Pena. I don't know. We're soulmates. Paul Red. Can you whistle? Do you eat breakfast every morning? No. No. Do you take any pills or medication daily? No. None of your business. No. What medical well, conditions no. do you have? <laughs> what? <laughs> Who's asking these questions, really? How many times have you been to the hospital? Enough. Where do you buy your jeans? American Eagle. The store. They do you usually remember your dreams in the morning? Remember, I don't know. What I remember the that. dreams where my husband cheated on me and, those and, are I, the worst and, I, and I hate him in the morning. Yeah. How many pairs of shoes do you currently own? Two. Many. I own, I don't know, maybe like 10 or 12. I've really cut down. I didn't even tell you the last time I bought a pair of shoes. I just bought some. How old were you when you were, f when you found out Santa wasn't real? I don't know, but I remember trying to, I made myself believe that he was real. I wanted him to be real so bad. Yeah. I wanted to keep that. I feel like, did you feel like you, I feel like I, hid it from my parents that I knew he wasn't real. Oh, like, I yeah. don't want my, which is so weird. Like, I don't want my parents to know that I knew he wasn't real yeah, anymore. Yeah, I really wanted to believe that he was real. Yeah. Even though I, I knew, I just like- Like, maybe nope, we thought I Christmas pretended. wouldn't be a big deal if they knew we knew. Maybe. I, Why do you have a Tumblr? Like a- No, I think like that's a- cup? A, a website. That's the app. Oh, I've never even heard of it. No, I- We don't have a Tumblr because we're in our 30s? Yeah. We had MySpace. Yeah. We gotta pick a top eight. Yeah. And then when a bitch pisses us off, yeah, move we turn down. Like, oh, you're not my, you're not my top. Okay, that's it. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe. Also hit that notification button. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think so I don't know what. I have toenail to fungus. <laughs> <laughs> On one of my toes, but it's been treated. What? So it's going away. <laughs> Backspace, backspace. <laughs> what? He's psycho. I really like Justin Bieber. Still related to General George Patton. I knew that. Oh fuck. Is he a good guy or a bad guy? I, I heard mixed reviews on him. <laughs> <laughs> I Facebook requested that bitch and she still hasn't accepted, so I took it back. <laughs> there. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Elvis, you want a cookie? Yeah. <laughs>